what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Hey everyone, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife I'm so glad you're here Hey guys, I have been cooking all day long and I have been making a recipe and video after recipe and after video. Um, and this is no different. This is probably my last one for today. Just today. And um, anyway, I am getting a little tired. So, and my kitchen is starting to look a little less put together. But that's okay. We are on our last recipe for the day. And I know this is a whole new video for you guys because I'm doing them as separate videos. But anyway, we're making a special supper tonight. We're having pot roast. We're having cheesy potato casserole or funeral potatoes, whatever you want to call them. And I'm doing Brussels sprouts. Um, I don't know if the kids, it, I think just Isaac and Jessica are coming. I don't know if they're going to want uh, biscuits or not. I need to find out. Um, but let me get the Brussels sprouts put together, ready to go in the oven. But, um, you know, I just want to get them started. So, I'm actually doubling this recipe. I will leave the recipe down in, or the link to the recipe down in the description. When I use somebody else's recipe, if I can find the link, I like to leave the link. So, you can go to their site or their channel, show them some love, and they get credit for it. Um, so if, if I can find the link, I will link it down in the description below, but I am doubling this recipe, okay? Because we happen to love Brussels sprouts. So, all right, I will see you back in just a minute. I'm going to rinse off these Brussels sprouts, get them over here ready to go, and um, I shredded some cheese earlier on this plate, so I'm just putting a paper towel down on it, and um, we're going to sit the Brussels sprouts right here. So, I will see you guys in just a second. Okay, these Brussels sprouts came in a mesh bag. So what I did was I just rinsed them through the mesh bag and used it much like I would a colander or whatever. Um, use use what they come in if you can. So um, what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna trim off the ends. Let me grab a knife. Okay, I'm just gonna trim off the end and then cut it in half. And then we're gonna throw it Whoops, in a bowl. This is the same bowl I used for another recipe a while ago. I just rinsed it out, washed it good, and um, so we could use it for this. So I'm just, remember, I'm just cutting the ends off, cutting them in half, and I need like a little garbage bowl over here, but I don't have one. So it's just gonna have to wait. All right. So I'm going to keep doing that through both of these bags. Each bag is 16 ounces. So the recipe would just take one of these bags. Uh, like I said, I am doubling it. So um, I'll meet you back here in just a little bit when I get all this accomplished. I'm going to get a paper plate or something that I can put like the scraps in. All right, I have all the Brussels sprouts, the tips taken off and um, cut in half. This is one of my frozen garlic pucks. I bought a big bag of garlic at um, Costco or Sam's. And what I did was I just got my food processor out, I ground it all up, and then I took a cookie scoop and scooped it out on a freezer on a cookie sheet, froze it, and then bagged it all up. And so I'm just gonna go grab one of those, which is what I've done. Um, I had, it's not thawed, so hopefully it'll thaw before we get it going. So, um, I'm going to add in, you know, a good amount of salt. Put some on that garlic. Hopefully it'll <laughs> melt it. Let me grab the pepper. I'm going to 
add some pepper. I'm also going to go over here and add, grab some um, Italian seasoning. All right, here we're going to go in with some Italian seasoning. We've got some olive oil here. I'm going to use about six tablespoons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. That was, you don't have to be exact on your olive oil. All right, I've got to get one more ingredient and it's gonna come in two different forms or I'm gonna use it in two different forms. So hang tight. All right, so I'm gonna stir this up. I wanna get all the olive oil on there and kinda of would like to break up that garlic cup, which is breaking up pretty good. It's almost broke up, so. Probably by the time I get ready to stick it in the oven, I can break it all up. But I want to do it before I add the cheese. All right, guys, I believe we're pretty much there. to add Parmesan cheese to this, hence the name Parmesan Brussels sprouts, okay? So I'm going to add half a cup of this. Um, this is just the shredded, I don't have my block, my triangle block of Parmesan anymore, so I bought it great. So we're going to add a half a cup, and I'm just going to eyeball that, and we're going to add a half a cup of the green top kind. Now, I'm adding this kind just because it's kind of better. This I'm adding to make more of the crust. I need this to form kind of the crust on it. All right, so I'm going to get the oven preheating. I'm gonna stir this around. These are going to be so good. Absolutely delicious. You're gonna want a really hot temperature on your oven. So I'm gonna go up to 400 and um, I'm gonna see what my potato casserole needs to go in at. And we'll see if I can find kind of a happy medium between the two. But oh, don't these look good. So okay. We're at a stopping point now. I'll bring you back when it's time for the next step. Okay, everybody. I've got the Brussels sprouts getting ready to go in the oven. I've spread them out on a cookie sheet. The oven is preheated to 400. It's going in. I'll see you when it comes out. Well... I did not film everybody eating that supper because that was the same night we did the cheesy funeral potatoes. Um, I did not film us eating that supper. It, it got, you know, when the boys are here, my mind just goes to those boys. And um, so anyway, I didn't film it. But let me tell you, those Brussels sprouts were the hit of the night. They were absolutely the hit and um so they were absolutely delicious and so since the video portion is really short let me add in what we did for supper last night i'm gonna add it in right here okay so today's video is forgive the way i look that maybe that'll improve in a little bit no it won't today's a work day Today I've been at the farm. It's it's just a work day. I'm cleaning here. I got to go out and clean my car. Um, so yeah, today is a work day for sure. But we are having fried spicy chicken sandwiches. Yes, I have made them before on this channel. I cannot get this open. Um, so um, I got to figure out. How to, I'm trying to get the sriracha open. Um, Anyway, 
we are having fried spicy chicken sandwiches and I'm gonna go ahead and get the mayonnaise mixed up that we put on our sandwiches Bryant has got to run to the store and get me some chicken and we'll cut those in half making them a little thinner and I marinate them and I will do a um, flour a batter uh, a flour coating that we'll put on them so let me get the mayonnaise made but first I gotta figure out how to get the sriracha open. So I'm gonna have to wait till Bryant gets here to open the sriracha. So the mayonnaise is on hold, but let's go ahead, since I'm getting things prepped and ready early, let's go ahead and make our batter, not batter, but it's a breading that we're gonna put on the, um, you know, the chicken. So I'm going in with a cup of all-purpose flour. And you're not baking, so this does not have to be perfection as far as measurements go. And didn't y'all just really want to look at my belly there? <laughs> I was trying to get you down this way. All right. Now, so that was a cup of flour. We're going to go in with a half a cup of cornstarch. Half a cup of cornstarch. About time to replenish the cornstarch. All right, we're going to do a teaspoon of pepper. And a teaspoon of salt. All right, now we're going to go in with the rest of the spices and use a tablespoon. So we're going to use a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of, let's see what this is, is this garlic, yes, garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, You can go a light tablespoon on the cayenne, but it calls for a tablespoon. I didn't feel it quite full. All right. I don't remember what came off of what lid now. <laughs> okay. So, oh, I bet that's garlic. All right, that's it for our breading. I'm just gonna take a whisk and give this a whisk. So here is our breading for our chicken. And uh, just for good measure, I like to put the lid on it or zip the bag up, whatever I've got it in. And just give it a good little toss and shake. Okay, so our breading is ready. Our mayonnaise was in the process of getting ready, but I have to wait for Bryant to open the sriracha sauce. I'm gonna leave the garlic out because we will use that in the mayonnaise. So I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna put everything else up. The marinade is basically pretty simple. Actually, it's um, a cup of buttermilk, some paprika, I need to leave the paprika out too. Where's that at? I need to leave it out. Salt and pepper and garlic, and that's it. But I'll bring you back when we make that. I'm gonna put the lid on it, stick the mayonnaise back in the refrigerator. And, um, and then we'll, we'll make the um, marinade as soon as the chicken gets here and so forth. So, all right, I'll see you back in just a little bit. So Bryant was unable to go. He was supposed to go to the grocery store and pick up some chicken. Well, he got busy here on the farm, so I had to go. Looking like this, and I ran into the sweetest viewer. Her name is Teresa. Teresa, if you're watching, thank you so much for stopping me. I love that so very much. I'm sorry I looked so terrible, but hey, it's 
I'm on YouTube putting myself out there looking like this. So anyway, um, but thank you so very much for stopping me, Teresa. It was so nice to meet you and I'm so glad I got to. And if Bryant had gone, I wouldn't have got to meet you. So anyway, all right. I came home, Bryant, you know, Bryant's not a spicy person. So I ended up making him some breading uh, for the chicken that did not have cayenne. And I have a feeling Caroline may want that too. She loves spicy things, but spicy things do not always love her. So um, we're going to probably forgo that. So now I'm going to make the batter. And I think I'm going to double the batter as far, not batter, I keep saying batter, but marinade. Uh, I think I'm going to double it and um, just because we're doing a lot of chicken. I know Jamie and I both like this chicken. He and I both, in fact, one year for Jamie's birthday, he requested this dish for his birthday. You probably remember that. So I'm just going to put the rest of the paprika almost the rest of the paprika in there and we're gonna go in with some garlic Probably about two teaspoons of each paprika and two teaspoons of garlic there we go and salt and pepper and that's it to the marinade let me grab the salt and pepper I'll be right back and I'll get you guys turned down when I'm in a hurry, I forget to look at where the camera is tilted. But in here is two cups of buttermilk, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic. Um, probably the same of pepper. And some salt. All right. So let me, let's see, what did I do? Oh, I've already mixed that up. So let's whisk this up. Bryant has brought, it was at, at Aldi, you know, their, and their chicken breasts are really thick. So um, he brought them in, I brought them in, and then he came in and sliced them, uh, most of them in thirds, believe it or not. But um, some of them in half, just depending on the size. So we have that pan of chicken breast over here. Um, some of these, I'm going to lay this one out. Probably won't fix that one as a sandwich. Just checking them. All right, so I'm just going to pour this all over this chicken. And then we'll move them around. Make sure they're all coated and we'll just let them hang out in the refrigerator until time for supper. All right. So I'm just gonna be sure everything gets coated. Nothing's hindering that buttermilk and spices to get on that chicken. Making sure everything is nicely coated. So yeah, all right. So this is gonna hang out. Oh, I just splattered everywhere. Um, and I'll see you back when it's time. Bryant forgot to open my sriracha, but I'll get him when he gets back. All right, let's get our mayonnaise ready and then we'll be like completely ready all but clean up for supper until it comes time to frying. So let me get you guys turned down here. Remember, I have about a cup of mayonnaise that I eyeballed um, and we're going to add two tablespoons of sriracha. And I'm going to add in two teaspoons of garlic. And 
And that's all there is to this mayonnaise. We're going to give it a stir. This is going to be delicious. Now, the best thing on this sandwich is just this on a toasted bun and dill pickles. <laughs> That's how I love to eat mine. I do have some lettuce and tomato in case somebody wants lettuce and tomato on theirs. But, um, yeah, I just want this, pickles, and the chicken. And I want my bun toasted. So, all right, guys, mayonnaise going in the refrigerator. I'm going to clean up all my mess. My niece is fixing to come over for a minute. And, um, yeah, so we've um, accomplished a lot in a short amount of time. Okay, everybody, here it is. I've taken them out, and I've put them in the flour dredge. And look how beautiful they look. Absolutely gorgeous. We're not going to do them all because... Uh, some of the family's not coming, and so we will um, we'll see who, how many's here, and we'll have enough for everybody that's here. All right, everybody. Caroline is fixing Judah's plate, and he has asked for the spicy mayonnaise. Yeah, we're not putting a lot on it. We're just gonna put a little bit. The two dark ones are the spicier ones. I let them get a little darker just so we would could tell them apart. And so yeah, we're fixing to eat chicken sandwiches, and we're gonna put pickles. And Bryant wanted tomatoes and lettuce, so he had, I don't I don't think he's got the lettuce out yet. So those chicken sandwiches were amazing. They were absolutely delicious. And since Isaac and Jess didn't come and Jamie didn't get to come, I just poured the marinade and the chicken in a bag that I had left over. Excuse me. I had to sneeze. Sorry. <laughs> I put it in a bag. And I have another sneeze coming on. Anyway, I put it in a bag and stuck it in the freezer. What I had left over. I think that was the last one. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but those sandwiches were so good. And I toasted the buns in the cast iron frying pan. So good. Absolutely delicious. Um wonderful supper so i just wanted to add that in i know the brussels sprouts were pretty short although that was the main recipe but so i thought i'd give you two for the price of one <laughs> no price just kidding it's uh, all free so thank you guys hey speaking of free if you haven't hit subscribe how about how about doing so it's free it doesn't cost you anything and be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment so all right i'm gonna see you guys later i'll see you sunday for the weekend wrap up remember the grease is hot enough you can fry anything bye y'all